Guys, hope you guys had a fantastic week like I did. So for most of you guys that have been following my channel, you guys know that I've been wanting to take the channel to the next level. And I've had this drone for the longest time, you guys, and I just never had time to fly it. And I took it out for the first time. And of course, I don't know how to fly it. And uh, I'm gonna try to get some flight time in. Uh, but before we do that, we're gonna plug it in, charge it up, and uh, update the firmware. But while we're doing that, uh, we're gonna work on the GTR here, you guys. Um, there's a little bit of a clicking on the back and one of the sway bar end links um, is loose or it's just worn out. So we're gonna do that today, you guys. This is the end link that we're gonna replace. Well, we're gonna replace them as a pair, but to see how it's, it shouldn't have that much give. <clears throat> this side is pretty tight, see? So here's the end links out of the vehicle, you guys. Uh, of course, the white line, and this one, if you guys are curious, these are the Forge Performance ones. Um, if you're wondering why I'm not going back to Forge Performance, it's because they don't make them no more. They're just discontinued. They're a fantastic uh, sway bar. Like I said, they just don't make it no more, and they're quite expensive. And unfortunately, the thing is, when you go with companies that are a little smaller or uh, not as big, you could even say not as reputable, but they are a reputable brand. But these don't make them more. Uh, there's a history with the company being sold, and to, it's just a long story. Just don't they don't make them more. So, if you guys are going with smaller companies, um, that's the thing you're going to run into. If they start using custom pieces, I could have just changed the eyelets, those um, or whatever those ball bearing things. But the only problem is they use a totally different size. So I could have saved a ton of money, but they use a totally different size that I couldn't. Uh, get the thread on and it was just just a pain in the butt you guys so just keep that in mind when you guys are going with like custom-made stuff if you move away or if you sell the vehicle it's a one-off and it's it's hard to duplicate it and it's the smaller amount produced the more money it's going to cost so just keep that in mind when you guys do choose between brands even though you may have a better looking or better performance brand right now but in the long run you may not be able to get that replacement piece, uh, replacement, uh, piece just like uh, what I'm going through right now. So it's all installed now, you guys, and nicely tight. No more give, no more jiggles. And that's the way it's supposed to be. And if you're kind of wondering, uh, they use a 17 and a number 10 Allen to lock it on the outside here, you guys. So if the bolt will start spinning, if you don't use that. All right, you guys, so I'm set up now. The drone's all set up and ready to go. And of course, I got my uh, Tesla and uh, we're gonna do some shots around it and see how it works. Hopefully I can fly this thing, you guys, and uh, yeah, hopefully I don't crash it. So I'm just gonna set you guys down here and uh, let's get this drone in the air. So we got her up and ready. Let's, uh, let's go. That was that was <laughs> that was kind of scary. That's kind of scary there, you guys. So let's see. Uh, so I'm gonna try this one, you guys. Pretty cool. I'll put that in the shot, you guys, into into the video. Yeah, this one we're gonna try. 
We're going to do the, call the rocket. This is pretty sick, you guys. This is pretty awesome. Now that they make everything so simple, it's just a couple of clicks and you're ready to roll. Okay, I got a couple more, uh, couple more shots to go. Let's try another one. Again, we're gonna click on the car. It's gonna come back now. Pretty cool, you guys. So now I'm gonna go back and edit everything and hopefully it works out. Some music would be good too, I think. The crash is what a big mistake, eh? <laughs> So I hope you guys like the uh, the footage from the drone. Um, honestly, I have to admit, you guys, that was probably the third time I've actually flown the the drone itself, and DJI just really makes it really easy to fly a drone, you guys. So if you ever on the verge of or wanting to actually uh, get a drone and fly it, I would I would highly recommend it, you guys, because it's so easy. Um, just got to make time like I did, and. Uh, yeah, just it's just that easy. Um, all those drone footages as um, you see in the past, it's a lot more easy to obtain. And uh, yeah, I'm just I'm kind of really excited to now to actually add it to my uh, my vlogs. Um, hopefully, get the car out more often. I know you guys have been asking me more for out outdoor vlogs, so hopefully this will encourage me to do more vlogs like that for you guys. But. Uh, if you guys like what you guys see, just comment below, let me know. Um, if you guys fly drone, 
in your guys' uh, vlogs or you guys know how to fly a drone, just let me know um, what I could do better. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a noob at it and yeah, those drone footage, I checked it out and it's, it's fantastic, you guys. So hope you guys liked the vlog. Uh, if you guys do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya.